What do you do if you've got a whole bunch of copper that looks like this? Hopefully this is recording. We'll find out. Anyways, what you do with it is you take it, paint and corrosion and everything, big pieces like that, you take it, Here, and you throw it into your old cement mixer. And that one's a little too long, I'll have to cut down. It's an old cement mixer, and you throw it in there with a bunch of gravel and some water. Pretty sure you couldn't hear me over that, but anyways, it ends up looking like that. And it's coated with dirt and stuff like that from the uh, from the dirt and gravel. And then what you do is after it's been spinning around for half an hour, you take it out and throw it in a bucket of water. All this stuff has been in here for a, a while. Put it in a bucket of fresh water. And you end up with nice, clean, shiny copper. Now, except for the mud that I keep putting on it with my glove. But you end up with nice, shiny copper. Paint's all gone, corrosion's all gone, corrosion's all gone in the inside. I don't know if you can see that down inside there. Get out of there. My help. Otis the Wonder Dog. He thinks he's a cat. And meanwhile, this copper has just gone up in value 25 to 30 cents depending on what copper is selling for it in your area at the time. Nice shiny copper. No paint, no corrosion. Except you get your gloves all wet. Anyways, there's probably 30 or 40 pounds worth of copper in that bin right now that I got empty out. And I'll show you what it all looks like later. So, this little bucket, which I weighed before I brought upstairs, is 13 pounds, 12 ounces. So I'll call it 14 pounds. Or, um, at $3 a pound, uh, $48? No, $42. Anyways, so I'm thinking that that and what's in there would probably be 20 pounds, which is $60. So there's $100 worth of copper there.
and I probably have three times that kicking around here. Gotta get rid of it all. Too much junk. Anyways, into the cement mixer it goes. Oh, I didn't buy the cement mixer just to do this. I had it. Um, turns out that cement companies around here uh, want a minimum charge for cement delivery and I didn't meet, meet the minimum so I went and bought a bunch of bags of cement and mixed it myself in a cement mixer and saved myself a bunch of money. Now I got a cement mixer. <laughs> Anyways, see you later. Interesting. Camera just shut itself off. I don't know what that means. Uh, anyways, I don't know if it's recording, and we'll see you when we go inside. If not, then you won't hear this. <laughs> anyways, talk to you later.